Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided that I would do a full face of my 2018 favorites. I did a blog on my 2018 skincare favorites that I am going to continue to use in 2019. So I figured let's do a makeup version of that and let's do it on YouTube because that just seems to make the most sense so I can actually demo the products for you. Um, so yeah, Joe, my, my friend here showed up uninvited. I haven't had a pimple like this or whatever it's called, a zit, since I was like 21 before I started Accutane and definitely not a fan. It hurts like hell. But anyway, um, so today, let's see what we want to start with. Um, so I really like the Vibrancy Foundation from Josie Marin. I've used that a couple more than probably a couple times. And then if you could see this guy, Suntegrity Tinted Moisturizer. And just like the Josie Marin um, Tinted Moisturizer, it doesn't give you a ton of coverage. This one probably gives you more than this one, um, but this one's really nice kind of when you don't need that much coverage. So maybe I'll use that today. Or maybe I should use the Josie Marin one. Decisions, decisions. I guess, Let's just use the Josie Marin one since I haven't shown this integrity one before and it may not be fair for me to claim it's my favorite, but if you could tell by how skinny this is, I've used it all. So, we'll use this guy on my beauty blender. Pops that everywhere. My skin has fairly behaved today besides, you know, you know who. He who cannot be named. Um, but yeah, so not too bad. I totally, that was dumb. I was totally gonna show you guys this Adeline Camel anti-aging face cream that I keep talking about. Um, and I totally forgot, so next time. But it's amazing and it just smells so good and I love it. Don't forget to go down the neck. Kind of by your ear, especially if you have short hair like me, like there's no hiding a disconnect in color. If you have long hair, you can just cover and move on with your life, but not me. So that's half the face. Pretty nice and dewy, and then there's the side. Also dewy, just not as even. So. So I actually ordered the um, Ilia foundation for those of you who are familiar with Green Beauty. Um, if you're not, Ilia is just another organic brand and they're supposed to have a really great, uh, it's called a serum foundation, which gives me the um, idea that it's thin, but it's supposed to be super full coverage. So I ordered that, but I haven't gotten it yet, but we will try that out. Um, on here when I do get it and then I also found this brand called Root and it's another organic brand and they have a lot of um, pressed like eyeshadows and blushes and bronzers so I ordered a Z palette from them and then a bunch of um, individual eyeshadows uh, so when I get that I just ordered that today yeah and I already got a thing that it ships so I love when brands ship stuff quickly I love it Amazon has made me extremely impatient with their prime so uh, I'm spoiled and appreciate shipping. That's really fast. Uh, but when I get those, maybe we'll do all of those and wrap them into a first impression video. That would probably be fun. Moving on, uh, I'm going to use my Fit Glow Concealer in C3 and the Clove and Hollow Concealer in O2. Um, both of these are amazing. And actually, two other ones that I use I didn't talk about are these Zuzu Luxe Concealers. I have the color C7 and... C10. So C7 definitely has more of like a yellowy undertone and C7, C10 is more of like a pinky undertone, but they both work on me. I don't use them to like brighten. I use them for coverage and they actually are a thicker consistency, but I really like them. So these are really great too. Uh, I think I'm just low on them. So um, that's why I'm not using them, but my fickle concealer that I love.
I'm gonna put my mirror up here. There we go. That's good. Here. You can go back to hell where you came from. I just like to put a little concealer in the places where I tend to have more redness and want a little more coverage. And then we can use the Colvin Hollow one because it's considerably lighter just to brighten a little bit here. All right, with my beauty blender. I wish I could use a brush. I've really been enjoying um, this little brush from Morphe. It doesn't have a number on it or it did and it rubbed off, but it's just a small little like blending brush and I have really been liking it for concealer. over this guy. So I have started the keto diet in 2019. My whole house has me, my husband, and my mom. And we just figured it'd be easier for all of us to do it than just one of us because it's fairly strict. You can't obviously have like really any carbs or sugar. Um, so it's easier if everybody's on the same page and you just eliminate it all together. So we've been doing that for about 10 days and my husband's lost the most weight. I think he's lost about seven pounds. I've lost about three to four and I think my mom has also lost, you know, between two and three. Uh, and that's just in like the first 10 days. Um, but I've heard that in the first week you lose quickly and then you kind of, plateau until you do it for longer term. We're going to do it for a month and see how it goes. Um, initially, I was like really young home about it and I still am and I am going to do it for the full month, but I'd be lying if I said I don't have some sugar cravings. But real quick, this is the Well People Bio Bronzer Stick. I'm going to just kind of put that all over. They say if you put it under here, it makes you have a little shadow. It makes your lip look pouty. Um, and I'm going to blend that in with my uh, Clairsonic brush. Anyway, so back to the diet. So you basically live, I personally live on eggs and cheese pretty much. Um, but I did make a keto-friendly um, lemon bar. That was really good. And then... I made some keto-friendly blueberry muffins. Turns out blueberries aren't that keto-friendly, so um, I ate a few of them and then kind of didn't eat the rest, but I tried. Um, and the biggest difference is that you use a, almond flour instead of regular flour, you use sugar substitutes, and a lot of coconut oil and butter. Uh, is the biggest thing I've seen. Um, so they kind of come out more dense than if you use like regular flour, because almond flour, it almost has a consistency of like a cornmeal. So things are more dense, obviously, than a super light um, flour, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I actually like it. I like the way that it tastes. I think with a sugar substitute, things aren't um, as sweet as they normally are. So I have been enjoying that a lot about it. Um, so we'll see what happens. If you are interested and you want me to do like a monthly, like at the end of the month, do a video about it and like the progress and um, kind of what we've eaten and new recipes and stuff like that, then let me know in the comments and I can definitely do that. Um, I actually started working out too this week. I go in, sp in spurts with working out though, like. I'll do it and then I'll stop and then I'll do it and I'll stop. So um, this is the first time we've actually gone. We usually go and like lift weights. And this time we actually started doing cardio. So we've just been doing, running on the treadmill. We'll do that for like the first week just to kind of get used to it and then kind of throw in maybe some weight training on top of that. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we're going to Florida in February and I would love to be able to rock a crop top a little more confidently so that would be fun um so like i said let me know if you want me to do a video on that for anybody who's curious about doing the diet has thought about it and just hasn't done it i would be happy to do that 
All right, next. So we're bronzed. Hmm, that's powder because it's a little uh, sticky. So I'm gonna use the this Pacifica uh, Neutral Mattifying Powder with Cherry and Minerals. This is the shade one. As you can see, I've hit pan. Um, I haven't been using it lately, kind of because I just haven't thought about it, but uh, I did use it obviously a ton. So we'll go under the eyes. You can see the difference. Powder, no powder. You guys know I don't like to powder a lot just because my skin is dry, but I will powder around here. And I will powder between my brows because those are places I tend to get oily. All right, next. Let's see what I wanna do next. Let's go over all that. I'm gonna run a little bit over my eyelids also. Even though it doesn't matter, they're gonna crease anyway because that's what they like to do to me. But we try. And even though I always um, set under the eye, I always get creases. So I don't know why I bother, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, so next let's do brows and for that I'm going to use the 100% pure long lasting brow in soft brown. I actually, so I got that eye of Horus brow pencil I mentioned in my IG story. I'll show you. It's right here. It's just like my CoverGirl one and it's super thin, which I love. Um, but because I've only had this for a few weeks, I didn't want to claim it in my 2018 favorites. I didn't think that was fair, but this will definitely be a 2019 favorite because I fell in love with it like immediately. Um, let me find a brow brush. Anyone? Here we go. So I'm gonna use a spoolie to kind of brush out some of the foundation that is in my brows right now. I can see. All right. So I'm gonna switch my mirror to the scary zoom side. It shows you everything you don't want to see. Oh my god. Sorry. I can't even find my face. It's so zoomed. Ugh. Okay. Never mind. Forget that. Instead, bring it here. I guess we'll just kind of lean in a little bit. Can I just use an angled brush for this? I don't have a problem using like a pomade like this. I think they work um, well. And I think as long as a brow product is your shade, you can kind of make it work for you. But pencil is just faster for me um, and easier, I think. But this works really well too and I um, have really enjoyed it, so. I were using it today. I mean, that was pretty quick. And like I said before, I my brows are microbladed, so I pretty much already have a stencil. The problem is my natural brow hair is blonde, like very blonde, and my microblading is more like a brown. So I have to fill them in to kind of match the two together. If I don't have any makeup on, it's fine. But as soon as I put um, foundation on and it goes into my brows, kind of, you know. I gotta fill them in because they look crazy. So I've been talking to my sister about doing some videos with me. I kind of have a list of things I want to do with her and she's totally down, which is awesome. And I think they're gonna be really funny because my sister is one of the funniest people I know and together we just have a great time and we make each other laugh constantly so i'm really excited to um do some videos with her i actually have a bunch of options um of things we can do with her so i would like to do all of them uh 
because I think they're they're fun videos to do and like I said we just have a great time together so hopefully you guys will get to see her on my channel soon all right I think brows are good this bra doesn't like to take pigment in this area I don't know why so I've just given up on that move on with my life I don't have time anybody got time for that so I'm actually going to use one of the Zuzu Lux concealers I was talking about and kind of clean up right under my brow. They don't have a ton of product in them because I've used them so much. So I use them sparingly. But I really like these. If you like a thicker consistency concealer, this is really great. And then I will just use a flat brush to um, blend that in. I just really like the way cleaning your brows up looks. I don't do the top, um, but I do like to do the bottom, especially because I'm too lazy to get my eyebrows waxed and it's a good way of covering all that wild hair I got going on. See, just, just a little pick me up under the brows, under the bristles. <laughs> All right, what else? Next, let's do some blush. So my favorite blush that I've been I've used in 2018 is this Found Beauty one. The top is broken, but so this is a brand that's like a natural brand, but it is exclusive to Walmart, and it's exclusive, I believe, to Walmart online. Um, but this sucker I've had my most of the year, and I still have a the whole pan is basically still there. I used it constantly and it was like nine bucks. Their prices are kind of weird. They're like eight eighty eight, So I'll just say nine, but it's got like that shimmer in it. So it gives your cheeks a little bit of a glow on top of it. And I just love um, the color. And then I just use this real technique sponge or sponge brush and I'll just pop that on. Blush is my favorite thing. Well, foundation's like my favorite thing. Like when I'm watching a YouTube video, I people putting foundation is like my favorite thing in the world because I love seeing the transformation and like how it evens everything out and you just have a fresh canvas. Um, and I like doing it myself, but one of the things that I think has the most impact, of course, because you don't want people to be like, realize you're wearing foundation, um, blush. I love the way blush just kind of, it gives you like a feminine, like flush of color and I just love it. I love it. I just like how pretty that is. All right, I'm into it, I'm into it. I also really enjoyed the Honey Bee Gardens blush. We can throw a little bit of that. This guy is like crazy pigmented though. Like one tiny dip in and then dip it off, like tap it off because she's pigmented. All right, let's do eyes. So you guys already know, or you should know, my Pacifica uh, Pink Nudes palette has been my go-to this year. And I use it literally every day. Like no matter what kind of look I'm doing, at some point I'm gonna use one of these shades. Probably this one the most, these two, they're like my two um, transition shades that I love and I'll just wear them on their own and you look like you tried, which, I like to look like I try, but I don't want to actually try half the time. So I'm going to use my little gem of a brush from Jenna Taylor. And we're going to go into this guy right here and put that in the crease. I mean, look at the difference, like one light eyeshadow. And this side looks so much more put together already. Blows my mind. That's why I love makeup. Just like transforms you. If you're not into wearing a lot of makeup, like that's fine. I don't always wear a lot of makeup, but I wear enough to even on my skin because I do suffer from eczema and I have a lot of redness. And it just makes you feel like that much more confident in yourself when you look put together. Like when you go out looking like a mess, like you know you look like a mess and you know everybody else is thinking you look like a mess and I'm not down with that. Sometimes I am, but 
depends. So just a little bit. You can even just use your bronzer. If you don't want to carry an eyeshadow palette, just take a bronzer and bam. Use as an eyeshadow. I do that all the time too. So I just went in with the next darkest brown color. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do like one, one tiny shade darker than that, just to give it a little bit more dimension, this guy. And I'll just do lightly because that's considerably darker. So I'll just throw that, focus it in the outer um, corner. And then if you want to do an all matte look and you just put focus in your crease and don't bring anything under your lid, that kind of even looks like a shadow and it's just concealer probably with some powder on it. Um, but that on its own, like keeping everything focused higher than that kind of makes it look like you have something on your lid and like your lid is left intentionally lighter. Uh, you can always put a lighter shade on, we could do that. I'll dip into this guy here and I can just do it with my finger, I guess. This if you really want to clean that up. And that looks pretty too. If you just want to do like a matte look, you don't want to do a shimmer because sometimes you don't want to do shimmer. So there's that. We'll go back in with this big brush. No extra product though. Just kind of blend everything out so there's no harsh edges. You see how that concealer just makes it look like pretty clean? I love that. So we'll go down to the lower lash line and I always use a brush like this to get into the lower lash line. My trick too for the lower lash line is that because I'm always creasing under here, I use eyeshadow and just blend that little crease right out. Bye. Send him back to his mama. a little bit on the lower lash line. Go a little crazy down here. I don't know what happened. What happened out here? The foolish. So I think I'm going to keep the eyes like that. Pretty simple. I like uh, the way that looks. I'm not doing anything crazy tonight to go out with a full blown out eye. So um, what is next? Let's put on some mascara. I don't even have to tell you. Well, people, mascara in black. This is the wand. It's really spiky. Those are like my favorite kind of wands. And I need a mirror to get up, get up in there. So don't, oh, that doesn't have a mirror. Cool. Um, Who has a mirror in there? This is a mirror, perfect. Hold please. I always use my first coat to give me length, and then my second coat is for volume. And sometimes I don't even put mascara on my lower lash line, I just don't feel like it. And that I think gives a little bit more of a dramatic look in a way because it's just the top, so um, I don't know, just depends on what you're feeling. I can show you one eye with just the top on and then one eye with the bottom. This mascara is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, like, if I see a mascara that has like a regular brush applicator, I'm not even interested in it. Cause I know I'm not gonna like it. Like, I need something that's gonna separate my lashes. I have long lashes that need to be controlled. So this is one, this is without the bottom lash and this is with the bottom lash. You can see, I mean, it just depends on your preference either way. And if you don't want to do any mascara on the bottom, 
you at least have eyeshadow under there so it doesn't look totally unbalanced. So now I'm gonna go with code two and this is for the volume. And my left eye is normally like my bad eye where my lashes don't want to cooperate, but lately it's been stepping it up. It's been getting its life together. It's been curling nicely. By curling, I mean just with mascara. I don't use a curling eyelash curler. I used to use them all the time. I was obsessed with them when I was in high school, but I can't. Can't do it now. I don't like the way they it curled. It like makes it like a like an L, it's not like natural. So when you put mascara on, then they look like super weird that I'm not into. All right, we are almost done, you guys. Almost there. Let's put a little highlight. Um, you know, my favorite highlighting quad is the RMS Beauty one. And lately, I've actually been using this one that's called Nude, Luminizer Nude. And I've really been liking it because it's not super bright, but it still gives you like a little something, something. And if you are obviously more tan than me or of a deeper complexion, this will be super nice on you. You can kind of see it there. And last but not least, the lips. So I'm going to use the Honey Bee Gardens Lip Liner in Perfection because that's exactly what it is. And I'm going to line, I'm going to use it to fill in my entire lip region. It's just such a pretty color. If anyone has any good tips about overlining your lips, let me know. I don't do it because I feel like I look ridiculous because I don't know how to do it in a way that looks natural, but if you know, tell me, tell me. I'm gonna sharpen this guy. Getting stabbed with all the wood. So that's that. Like I just can't. This color is so perfect. It goes with anything. It's like neutral, but it's kind of dark because I can't pull off like that dead lip color. Um, some people can, and if you're a little bit darker or tan, it looks really great on you. But when you're kind of light like me, it doesn't look that good. Um, what else? I'm just going to top that off with a ColourPop gloss. This isn't part of my favorites, but I like it. Um, but it's not organic, but I can't do this lip liner. My lips will friggin' hate me. This is from the ColourPop, um, Disney collection. It's just the clear gloss and it's really pretty. So that's it. You guys, this is the final look. I really like it. I'm like, I got my hair cut today, so that's why my hair's got extra volume right in this area. It looks a little bit different. She's freshly shaved under here, which I love. Um, but anyway, back to the makeup. So I'm really happy with the way that it looks. Oh, this, this thing. Monster. I'm going to look at people from this side. If they talk to me, I'm just going to be like, mm-hmm, yep, cool. Because I can't. I can't with this one. Um... But yeah, I really love the way this turned out. Look at the eyes. Super simple. You know, I do anything crazy. It didn't take us that long and it looks really great. So I hope you guys like it and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.